Hi everybody, we are back with a new video. This is a bit nostalgia video because we made a robot from scratch with VBots and you guys love that video a lot. So now let's build a robot from scratch in NVIDIA Isaac Sim. So today we are going to do two things. We will design a robot with the shapes which we saw in the last video and Finally, once we have the robot built, we will see how we can export that robot in different scenes and we can see a great multi robot scene. So let's get started. So we go to first create. Let's add our ground plane. Here we have our ground plane. Now, first of all, let's make body of our robot. So we go to create. We will go to shape and it will be cube so we see we have cube here now let's update the properties we have cube with values of translation 0 0 1 so that we have cube above the ground now let's keep its size as 2 1 0 0.5 you see this looks like body of robot and we don't need to change the orientation now quickly let's add a wheel for robot so we go to create we go to shape we go to cylinder and here we see a cylinder so for cylinder let's translate it to 0.5 and 0 0.7 and 1 and now wheel cannot be in this axis so you see this looks like a wheel and let's slim it down a bit so we can have uh, its radius can be 0.5 but let's have its width, width as 0.3 so you see here we have one wheel of the robot let's define all the properties for one wheel and then we can replicate four wheels so that we can uh, develop faster in this case we will add physics rigid body similar to cylinder we will add rigid body because we don't want them to go below ground now let's add some material so we can go to create physics and physics material so let's add a rigid body material here and do okay and here we can add material to our scene so for example if i want to add material to my body i can go here and i can add a material here in our case we are also going to give uh, good colors to our body and wheels so if you go to create you can go to material so you see material here and we can choose any but let's do omni pbr and we can have one more material because we want different colors for the body and the wheel so we go to create material pbr now let's say we want this material to be body body material similarly we will make this as wheel material so we rename wheel material let's copy this because once we hit and enter it makes tf i don't know why we will again rename it as wheel material so we have body material and wheel material let's define body material to be uh, red color so I can go in body material properties and here I can change the color to be red. Okay. And we can have wheel material to be green. To be green. There we go. So now if I define cube, maybe we can rename this to body. You see here now we have body and now we will go to material and we will choose body material so you see it has turned red in color 
and similarly we will rename cylinder to front left wheel okay and we will assign material of wheel oops we were envisioning it to be greener so let's go in wheel and yep, we like this green more perfect we can see this with light so we can also have lights off Maybe if we have stage light this is what we are planning to use so this is how we have one wheel connected now even if i hit play this wheel and body are still independent because we have not defined any kind of joint so let's go ahead and define a joint where we'll go to create physics joint we need to uh, select the bodies so you need to define parent you can click shift and maybe you can define it from here or you can click on the wheel so i'll click shift and this tree so now my body is the parent and front left wheel is the child so i go to create physics joint revolute joint so we define a joint here but you see the axis of joint is wrong so first of all we will make a change where we will define axis about y and there are local positions so in our case we will update this to 0.5 i think this looks good because we already defined our wheel in that location so local position looks good uh, local position axis we need this to be zero so now you see it is aligned to our axis and we can just specify our rotation one to be 90 degrees so this is how we have defined a wheel so once we define joint of a robot now we need to define an actuator because in order for our robot to rotate we will need to define dummy values of actuator so we can go to add we can go to properties and we can add an angular drive this is a convenient way of adding a drive for two reasons one being you don't have to implement any kind of controller and it's a good idea for this drive to be implemented because you can move the robot with a constant velocity and make sure it has been built fine so now if you go to drive these are the parameters so there are two controls same as vbots where you have position control and velocity control so basically if you want to do position control you can do give position you can have low damping value and high stiffness value similarly if you want to do velocity control you will do high velocity high damping value and maybe zero stiffness value so for our case we just want to move the wheel rotate the wheel so let's give velocity as 100 and let's give dampening value as big so 10 raised to 5 once we have these wheels let's define remaining four wheels so we just need to copy paste so we minimize this we just duplicate it one two three so let's rename this to front right wheel r i v s t right wheel its joint will also be front right joint so now let's specify this so we translate it here because it's front right wheel we specify all the values where our translation is 0 0.5 comma minus 0 0.7 that's all we'll change here and we just need to define in right wheel properties we just need to define the values where this y will become minus and everything else will remain same rotation is 90 and it's about y axis similarly
So we have a robot with four wheels and you can see we have defined all the joints, body material. I think we should be good. Let's hit the play button. So we can see our all four wheels are moving. Let's drop it from height. It's trying to do cartwheel where robot is rotating. The only thing left here is we need to change one property where we need to have an articulated root because currently there is no fixed joint. We'll go to body. We'll go to add. We'll go to physics and we'll go to articulate root. So now once we have robot moving, let's talk about how can we use this robot in a different scene. For example, this is just a scene with a plane. Maybe you want to use this robot in a warehouse or some different place. So we will have to make few changes where let's close this. We will have to create X form. And let's create it outside. So now this X form we can rename and call it as four. We cannot start with numbers or four wheel robot. And now what we can do is we can copy all the properties from here and drag it in four wheel robot. So you see now in our tree we have four wheel robot and everything else is with respect to four wheel robot. So if I save this scene and open it somewhere currently it will come with ground plane environment and everything but if for example i want to have a scene with multiple robots i will have to convert this four wheel robot i'll have to define set a default frame so you see the default frame fr came from the world to here so next time if i use this video robot.usd it will only bring four wheel robot so let's give it a try. So you go to file, new, you go to create, you go to physics and ground plane. So this is our ground plane. Now assume I want to have many robots. Let's drag and drop from here. So we know this is our video robot. So if I drag and drop, you see we have a robot. Similarly, we can drag and drop multiple robots. So you see from that scene, we are just getting the robots and not the scene with the base and light and everything. So you see, we added multiple robots. And when I hit play now, you see all the robots are moving simultaneously. So this is how you can make a robot, save it in a file, convert it to default prim, and then you can use that particular robot in any other uh, scene. So this was all about today's video. If you like the video, do share and subscribe to Soft Illusion. Thank you.